Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm currently a senior at Duke. I just got back from a, a four-day expedition on Duke's Shearwater, which is their 77-foot catamaran research vessel. We took a trip all the way up to the Gulf Stream off of Cape Hatteras. It was my first trip on the sheer water. My first time being able to look in all four directions and not seeing land, which is a bit crazy to think about because you're in the middle of the ocean and you don't know what's going to happen. We ended up seeing around 15 Cuvier's beaked whales, which were the ones that we were looking for. Cuvier's beaked whales, they only surface for around 20 seconds to a few minutes at a time. So you really have to be in the exact area of the whales when they're surfacing and you have to be quick to respond to where they are. We saw five sperm whales, which was amazing. You can barely see them in the water, but what you actually see in the distance is their blows going super high in the area. And we also saw three short fin pilot whales, which is the species that I'm actually studying. So it was very special to get to see them out in the wild and kind of doing their own thing. Something that we helped out with, we deployed the CTD, which is conductivity, temperature, depth electronic system that you kind of just lower down into water and you're able to take water samples from different depths of the ocean. And then also on the inside of the boat, you could see them actively measure, you know, the salinity, the temperature, the pressure, and like the oxygen levels and like all these different things on a graph as the system was lowered into the water and reached different depths. That was very cool to see how they operated that. When we were headed back against the current of the Gulf Stream, the boat was very rocky. You'd be laying down in your bed horizontal, but the boat would push you up all the way to where you felt like you were zero gravity and then you'd slam back down. It was definitely strange being able to sleep in that area. I think sometimes it was quite nice actually because if the boat was rocking a certain way, it kind of put you to sleep and you'd be exhausted so you'd just like fall asleep. The whole crew is very welcoming about having extra hands and extra eyes on the boat. Not sure where the trip is going to go from here, but they are in the middle of planning it right now, who's going to be available. Um, and I would love to go back. Yeah, it was a great experience.